The Druid. Class features. As a druid, you gain the following class features. Hit points. Hit dice, 1d8 per druid level. Hit points at first level, 8 plus your constitution modifier. Hit points at higher levels, 1d8 or 5, plus your constitution modifier per druid level after the first. Proficiencies. Armor. Light armor, medium armor, shields. Druids will not wear armor or use shields made of metal. Weapons. Clubs, daggers, darts, javelins, maces, quarterstaffs, scimitars, sickles, slings and spears. Tools. Herbalism kit. Saving throws. Intelligence and wisdom. Skills. Choose two from arcana, animal handling, insight, medicine, nature, perception, religion and survival. Equipment. You start with the following equipment in addition to the equipment granted by your background. A. A wooden shield or B. Any simple weapon. A. A scimitar or B. Any simple melee weapon. Leather armor, an explorer's pack and a druidic focus. The Druid. Level 1. Proficiency bonus plus 2. Features. Druidic. Spellcasting. Two cantrips known. Two first level spell slots. Second level, plus two proficiency bonus. Wild shape, druid circle, two cantrips known, three first level spell slots. Third level, plus two proficiency bonus, no features, two cantrips, four level one spell slots, two level two spell slots. Fourth level, plus two proficiency bonus. Wild Shape Improvement, Ability Score Improvement, 3 Cantrips Known, 4 First Level Spell Slots, 3 Second Level Spell Slots. 5th Level, plus 3 Proficiency Bonus, No Features, 3 Cantrips Known, 4 First Level Spell Slots, 3 Second Level Spell Slots, 2 Third Level Spell Slots. 6th Level, plus 3 Proficiency Bonus, Druid Circle Feature, 3 Cantrips Known, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3 spell slots. 7th level, plus 3 proficiency bonus, no features. 3 cantrips known, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3 and 1 level 4 spell slot. 8th level, plus 3 proficiency bonus, wild shape improvement, ability score improvement. 3 cantrips known, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 2 level 4 spell slots. 9th level, plus 4 proficiency bonus, no features. 3 cantrips known, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4 and 1 level 5 spell slots. 10th level, plus 4 proficiency bonus, druid circle feature, 4 cantrips known. 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4 and 2 level 5 spell slots. 11th level, plus 4 proficiency bonus, no features, 4 cantrips known, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 2 level 5 and 1 level 6 spell slots. 12th level, plus 4 proficiency bonus, ability score improvement, 4 cantrips known, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 2 level 5 and 1 level 6 spell slots. 13th level, plus 5 proficiency bonus, no features, 4 cantrips known. 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 2 level 5, 1 level 6 and 1 level 7 spell slots. 14th level, plus 5 proficiency bonus. Druid Circle feature, 4 cantrips known, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 2 level 5, 1 level 6, 1 level 7 spell slots. 15th level, plus 5 proficiency bonus, no features, 4 cantrips known, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 2 level 5, 1 level 6, 1 level 7 and 1 level 8 spell slots. 
16th level, plus 5 proficiency bonus, ability score improvement, 4 cantrips known, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 2 level 5, 1 level 6, 1 level 7, and 1 level 8 spell slots. 17th level, plus 6 proficiency bonus, no features, 4 cantrips known, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 2 level 5, 1 level 6, 1 level 7, 1 level 8, and 1 level 9 spell slots. 18th level, plus 6 proficiency bonus, timeless body, beast spells. 4 cantrips known, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 3 level 5, 1 level 6, 1 level 7, 1 level 8, and 1 level 9 spell slots. 19th level, plus 6 proficiency bonus, ability score improvement, 4 cantrips known. 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 3 level 5, 2 level 6, 1 level 7, 1 level 8, and 1 level 9 spell slots. 20th level, plus 6 proficiency bonus, Arch Druid. 4 cantrips known, 4 level 1, 3 level 2, 3 level 3, 3 level 4, 3 level 5, 2 level 6, 2 level 7, 1 level 8, and 1 level 9 spell slots. Druidic. You know Druidic, the secret language of Druids. You can speak the language and use it to leave hidden messages. You, and others who know this language, automatically spot such a message. Others spot the message's presence with a successful DC 15 Wisdom Perception check, but can't decipher it without magic. Spellcasting. Drawing on the divine essence of nature itself, you can cast spells to shape that essence to your will. Cantrips. At first level, you know two cantrips of your choice from the druid spell list. You learn additional druid cantrips of your choice at higher levels, as shown in the cantrips known column of the druid table. Preparing and casting spells. The druid table shows how many spell slots you have to cast your spells of first level and higher. To cast one of these druid spells, you must expend a slot of the spell's level or higher. You regain all expended spell slots when you finish a long rest. You prepare the list of druid spells that are available for you to cast, choosing from the druid spell list. When you do so, choose a number of druid spells equal to your wisdom modifier plus your druid level, minimum of one spell. The spells must be of a level for which you have spell slots. For example, if you're a third level druid, you have four first level and two second level spell slots. With a wisdom of 16, your list of prepared spells can include six spells of first or second level in any combination. If you prepare the first level spell Cure Wounds, you can cast it using a first level or second level slot. Casting the spell doesn't remove it from your list of prepared spells. You can also change your list of prepared spells when you finish a long rest. Preparing a new list of druid spells requires time spent in prayer and meditation, at least one minute per spell level for each spell on your list. Spellcasting Ability Wisdom is your spellcasting ability for your druid spells, since your magic draws upon your devotion and attunement to nature. You use your wisdom whenever a spell refers to your spellcasting ability. In addition, you use your wisdom modifier when setting the saving throw DC for a druid spell, and you cast, and when making an attack roll, with one. Spell save DC. 8 plus your proficiency bonus plus your wisdom modifier. Spell attack modifier. Your proficiency bonus plus your wisdom modifier. Ritual casting. You can cast a druid spell as a ritual if that spell has the ritual tag and you have the spell prepared. Spell casting focus. You can use a druidic focus, see equipment, as a spell casting focus for your druid spells. Wild shape. Starting at second level, you can use your action to magically assume the form of a beast that you have seen before. You can use this feature twice. You regain expended uses when you finish a short or long rest. Your druid level determines the beasts that you can transform into, as shown in the beast shapes table. At second level, for example, you can transform into any beast that has a challenge rating of one quarter or lower that doesn't have a flying or swimming speed. Beast shapes. Level 2. Maximum challenge rating, one quarter. 
Limitations. No flying or swimming speed. Example. Wolf. Level 4. Maximum challenge rating 1 half. Limitations. No flying speed. Example. Crocodile. Level 8. Maximum challenge rating 1. No limitations. Example. Giant Eagle. You can stay in a beast shape for a number of hours equal to half your druid level, rounded down. You then revert to your normal form, unless you expend another use of this feature. You can revert to your normal form earlier by using a bonus action on your turn. You automatically revert if you fall unconscious, drop to zero hit points, or die. While you are transformed, the following rules apply. Your game statistics are replaced by the statistics of the beast, but you retain your alignment, personality, and intelligence, wisdom, and charisma scores. You also retain all of your skill and saving throw proficiencies, in addition to gaining those of the creature. If the creature has the same proficiency as you, and the bonus in its stat block is higher than yours, use the creature's bonus instead of yours. If the creature has any legendary or layer actions, you can't use them. When you transform, you assume the beast's hit points and hit dice. When you revert to your normal form, you revert to the number of hit points you had before you transformed. However, if you revert as the result of dropping to zero hit points, any excess damage carries over to your normal form. For example, if you take 10 damage in animal form and only have one hit point left, you revert and take 9 damage. As long as the excess damage doesn't reduce your normal form to zero hit points, you aren't knocked unconscious. You can't cast spells and your ability to speak or take any action that requires hands is limited to the capabilities of your beast form. Transforming doesn't break your concentration on a spell you've already cast, however, or prevent you from taking actions that are part of a spell, such as call lightning that you've already cast. You retain the benefit of any features from your class, race or other source and can use them if the new form is physically capable of doing so. However, you can't use any of your special senses, such as dark vision, unless your new form also has that sense. You choose whether your equipment falls to the ground in your space, merges into your new form or is worn by it. Worn equipment functions as normal, but the GM decides whether it is practical for the new form to wear a piece of equipment, based on the creature's shape and size. Your equipment doesn't change shape or size to match the new form, and any equipment that the new form can't wear must either fall to the ground or merge with it. Equipment that merges with the form has no effect until you leave the form. Druid Circle At second level, you choose to identify with the circle of druids, such as the circle of the land. Your choice grants you features at second level, and again at sixth, tenth, and fourteenth level. Ability Score Improvement when you reach 4th level, and again at 8th, 12th, 16th and 19th level, you can increase one ability score of your choice by 2, or you can increase two ability scores of your choice by 1. As normal, you can't increase an ability score above 20 using this feature. Timeless Body Starting at 18th level, the primal magic that you wield causes you to age more slowly. For every 10 years that pass, your body ages only one year. Beast Spells Beginning at 18th level, you can cast many of your druid spells in any shape you assume, using Wild Shape. You can perform the somatic and verbal components of a druid spell while in Beast Shape, but you aren't able to provide material components. Arch Druid At 20th level, you can use your Wild Shape an unlimited number of times. Additionally, you can ignore the verbal and somatic components of your druid spells, as well as any material components that lack a cost and aren't consumed by a spell. You gain this benefit in both your normal shape and your beast shape from wild shape. Circle of the Land The Circle of the Land is made up of mystics and sages who safeguard ancient knowledge and rites through a vast oral tradition. These druids meet within sacred circles of trees or standing stones to whisper primal secrets in druidic. The Circle's wisest members preside as the chief priests of communities that hold to the old faith, and serve as advisors to the rulers of those folk. As a member of this circle, your magic is influenced by the land where you were initiated into the circle's mysterious rites. Bonus Cantrip When you choose this circle at second level, you learn one additional druid cantrip of your choice. Natural Recovery Starting at second level, you can regain some of your magical energy by sitting in meditation and communing with nature. 
During a short rest, you choose expended spell slots to recover. The spell slots can have a combined level that is equal to or less than half your druid level rounded up, and none of the slots can be 6th level or higher. You can't use this feature again until you finish a long rest. For example, when you're a 4th level druid, you can recover up to 2 levels worth of spell slots. You can recover either a 2nd level spell slot or 2 1st level spell slots. Circle Spells your mystical connection to the land infuses you with the ability to cast certain spells. At 3rd, 5th, 7th and 9th level you gain access to circle spells connected to the land where you became a druid. Choose that land, arctic, coast, desert, forest, grassland, mountain or swamp, and consult the associated list of spells. Once you gain access to a circle spell you always have it prepared and it doesn't count against the number of spells that you can prepare each day. If you gain access to a spell that doesn't appear on the druid spell list, the spell is nonetheless a druid spell for you. Arctic Spells Level 3 – Hold Person and Spike Growth Level 5 – Sleet Storm and Slow Level 7 – Freedom of Movement and Ice Storm Level 9 – Commune with Nature and Cone of Cold Coastal Spells 3rd Level – Mirror Image, Misty Step 5th level, water breathing, water walk. 7th level, control water, freedom of movement. 9th level, conjure elemental and scrying. Desert spells, level 3, blur and silence. Level 5, create food and water, protection from energy. Level 7, blight and hallucinatory terrain. Level 9, insect plague and wall of stone. Forest Spells Level 3 – Bark Skin and Spider Climb Level 5 – Cool Lightning and Plant Growth Level 7 – Divination and Freedom of Movement Level 9 – Commune with Nature and Tree Stride Grassland Spells Level 3 – Invisibility and Pass Without Trace Level 5 – Daylight and Haste Level 7 – Divination and Freedom of Movement Level 9 – Dream and Insect Plague Mountain Spells Level 3 Spider Climb and Spike Growth Level 5 Lightning Bolt and Meld into Stone Level 7 Stone Shape and Stone Skin Level 9 Pass Wall and Wall of Stone Swamp Spells Level 3 Acid Arrow and Darkness Level 5 Water Walk and Stinking Cloud Level 7 Freedom of Movement and Locate Creature Level 9 Insect Plague, and Scrying. Lands Stride Starting at 6th level, moving through non-magical difficult terrain costs you no extra movement. You can also pass through non-magical plants without being slowed by them and without taking damage from them if they have thorns, spines or similar hazards. In addition, you have advantage on saving throws against plants that are magically created or manipulated to impede movement, such as those created by the Entangle spell. Nature's Ward When you reach 10th level, you can't be charmed or frightened by elementals or fey, and you are immune to poison and disease. Nature's Sanctuary When you reach 14th level, creatures of the natural world sense your connection to nature and become hesitant to attack you. When a beast or plant creature attacks you, that creature must make a wisdom saving throw against your druid spell save DC. On a failed save, the creature must choose a different target, or the attack immediately misses. On a successful save, the creature is immune to this effect for 24 hours. The creature is aware of this effect before it makes its attack against you. Sacred Plants and Wood A druid holds certain plants to be sacred, particularly alder, ash, birch, elder, hazel, holly, juniper, mistletoe, oak, rowan, willow, and yew. Druids often use such plants as part of a spellcasting focus, incorporating lengths of oak or yew or sprigs of mistletoe. Similarly, a druid uses such woods to make other objects such as weapons and shields. Yew is associated with death and rebirth, so weapon handles for scimitars or sickles might be fashioned from it. Ash is associated with life, and oak with strength. These woods make excellent hafts or whole weapons such as clubs or quarter staffs, as well as shields. Alder is associated with air, and might be used for thrown weapons such as darts or javelins. 
Druids from regions that lack the plants described here have chosen other plants to take on similar uses. For instance, a druid of a desert region might value the yucca tree and cactus plants. Druids and the gods Some druids venerate the forces of nature themselves, but most druids are devoted to one of the many nature deities worshipped in the multiverse. The list of gods in Appendix PHB includes such deities. The worship of these deities is often considered a more ancient tradition than the faiths of clerics and urbanised peoples.